Hello, this is Rosalind Bearcat, and welcome to a special video on Rise of Industry. So Steam has a sale going on this week, and uh, this is the uh, Steam Summer Sale. Uh, we're in the middle of that right now, and I have picked up a new game uh, for $6. This is a $6 game, Rise of Industry. Um, I've actually spent a little bit of time playing this game uh, and just I'm gonna post a little video here about it I, um, I I'll start out with the fact that I think it's well worth the six dollars I have had a lot of fun playing it, but it kind of is a mix of uh, What I would call sim city and then some are uh, you know, and then some of the um, or, or, You know, I guess in factory games that I play like satisfactory so it, it kind of has elements of both types of things in it, but I'm finding it to be a lot of fun and some of the things you can do. So I'm just going to go through some of the starting settings and some uh, just kind of some tips and trips on getting started. Um, you've got different choices here. I, I put it down to a few AI players, medium mount size. You know, to, you know, I, I turned off the assistant. It's a good thing to start with it, but I turned it off. Um, these settings I just I've been going with just the deep kind of the default settings and then on the difficulty settings uh, The way that I've been doing this is by coming in here and going to normal uh, on the the um, and so you've got newcomer you've got normal um, Which is actually kind of easy mode and then I went to veteran uh, and the veteran is where I've actually started which veteran Turns off the simplified production chains. It's going to make your math a little bit harder to do. Um, the pollution intensity is up. Dispatch costs are up. Update costs are up. Now, what I do is I back off a little bit, or at least right now, I'm still learning the game. So I backed off from the event difficulty to normal. Um, the resource availability, I went up to, uh, you know, I actually went to 100% on resource availability. And then um, I put back on infinite resources. So that was just one of the things that I did, um, you know, with some of the, and so that brings me to the 180% on the difficulty. That's kind of the level that I'm playing at. So then I start up a map and I'm going to talk a little bit here about what I've discovered as far as the map and the setup of the map and how that actually works. So we've got a map. We can zoom out a little bit. We can see where we're at. We're sort of in the middle here. That's actually kind of nice being in the middle. You've got Bark River. You've got Poplarville. You've got Green Spring, uh, Rison, and then down here you've got a couple on the other side, Menorca, Irwinton, down on the other side of the river. Uh, there are no bridges across the river. That's always an important. Uh, it's something to look for to see if there's already a bridge. Uh, over there there's not now mill neck is kind of the starting point and mill neck will be the only town that actually has this and there's different styles of towns but this is actually a heavy industrial town and i've got a heart all of them every single town has a hardware store and a farmer's market and then the other thing is is other items that you'll have will be these iron you know things here so what i always like to do is look at the synergy of things that are available here i'm looking for stuff that i can actually make multiple things using that now i've got coal for example and coal can actually be used in glass ink and steel um, and so i've got coal over here and i've got steel uh, but i don't have uh, i don't there's no there's diodes and ceramics but there's no glass so i only have one of the items there in that um, you know, and, and also in ink, uh, oil can be used in plastic and refined oil, nothing there. This can be used in bricks and ceramics. So I do have sand and there's ceramics, um, you know, that can, can be used, but you know, these are the things I'm looking for. I can see cotton, uh, cotton's a good one. It's a uh, 12K, uh, average price 9K here. So it's, uh, an easy to make cotton would be easy to make. Rubber is another thing that from a plant, uh, from an orchard. This is a plantation. This is an orchard. That's 9K for those items. So they're good. Um, you can see here that the price of wood is only 2K. If I come over here, less than 1.85, the wood is not a good item in and of itself. It's not that, you know, it doesn't do well, but then there's other things that are in there. Now, we've also got things over here. I've got berries that are good. That can actually be done at a plantation. That's a tier one research. You've got grapes, which is a tier one research. You've got uh, wheat, which is a tier one research. You've got cocoa, which is also tier one, and apples. Um, but you can see the the different prices of those things, 9K, 7K, 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 9K. So, you know, not bad there, uh, but that's something that can be done. Now, the other, you know, and the other thing here is that wheat can be done, and then you can actually do mutton, 
because you can do wheat and then sheep and then that would give you mutton and wool but then i don't have anything to do with the wool because i don't have a clothing store so that's the things that i'm kind of looking for is the synergy between things now i have not done an iron mongery as a starting point before uh, that would actually be something else so we're going to cut away to a different game that i've saved and i'm going to go through another map and what i've got for a different map Okay, so this is a map that I called Pine Meadows. I don't know why I've called it that. It just was what I liked. We're in Shellsburg. And I've, so we open up these three things and we do this process again. So the first thing I noticed, now we've got a toy store. So the first thing I know is wood, and I talked about wood not being good, but I can take the wood and I can make toy wooden trains and toy furniture. I've got two items I can make. The toy trains are worth 22, and he'll take 14 uh, per 30 days. So that's seven every 30 days. So that's a, that's that's a lot. These are a lot. He'll take a seven, a 14 of those also every 30 days. So I can actually, and then I can sell any leftover wood that I have as well. Which selling leftover wood, you don't really want leftover wood, but that's that's what's there. So that's the first item that I look at. The second item that I look at is there's, I do have cotton and cotton can be used to make stuffing and stuffing can then be used to make a te the teddy bear uh, along with the wool. So I've got wool and it comes in here now with wool and the mutton and you know, I don't have wheat, you know, that's in there, but that's, you know, it, it's, it's still a good thing. I can take the wheat, take the wheat and actually make do uh, sheep take the sheep and actually get mutton and uh, and I'll get the mutton and the wool. I can take the wool and make the teddy bear. I can sell the mutton. Uh, so I, you know, into the, the, which would be a leftover product and it sells, it's not bad. And there's six case, not bad. It'll take that so that I can get the leftover there. So I should be able to fulfill these teddy bears and the teddy bears actually sell for a pretty good amount. The 33 is not, has a pretty good amount there. I can also make dolls up here, which require light fabric. That would be the cotton would actually then go into the light fabric, you know? So I've got some really good synergy here between the things that are going to be in here. Not only that, I can take a number of products and say that you know cotton is a good source of income here rubber is a good source of income you know so i've got an orchard a plantation this is an orchard this is an orchard this is an orchard so the things i can do with orchards i've got a whole bunch of things i can do with an orchard one two three four products with orchards so i can expand those and sell those and then the things that i can do like this is 16 this is 18 this is only eight for the apples so i can't do a full farm on the apples but i can do a full you know for that that's 20 for the olives so i've got a whole bunch of things i can do there then this is a plantation over here and it also has 16 so i've, I've got a whole bunch of easy quick things i can build just a little bit of research and and create a whole bunch of stuff so the synergy is going to be good so step one is you kind of find you a map and a seed that has a good set of synergy of things that you can do good easy things you can make money with and then what you do, the first step is you have to place your headquarters. So you come down here to your administrative buildings and you come over here and you drop in a headquarters building somewhere. Now I like to find a good spot. The, the, it's interesting how these map things do. There we go. That one will sit in there. So that's my headquarters. Now you're, you're asking, there are other towns nearby. There's World Limited. What in the world? That may be my competitor. It is. He's in Great Meadows. Okay. Well, good. World Limited is in uh, Great Meadows. Um, you can put your city down. You know, you can put you know your your things down wherever you want to. Uh, this will be something that's interesting. Being as he is in Great Meadows here, that means that uh, Untain up here, uh, Unita is one of the places we'll do. Great Meadows was one of the places I was having to want. So we're going to want to have to try to take over him at some point in time. We'll be competing with him for regions and different things like that. Um, and, and seeing what we can do, you know, as far as how we do things. Now we've got, um, free soil. Let's see down here. And of course, then down here, uh, Aptos Hills, Rapid City. Okay, 
So I always like to start my cities in the one that has the three, you know, the extra store in it and, and the population will be a little bit bigger, but I, I like the extra store. It gives me some options that I like to do. I have iron, I have coal in my region, so I can do some things there, that iron up there. Um, and then I can actually build me, you know, some the forestry and some of the other things. Now, where is the, there's the toy store. And since I'm going to be creating stuff on the Toy Story, so I'm going to use this area right over in here to build my forestry and bring that out. Um, and then I'll, I will build the, um, probably build my forestry over in here and use this area right in here to build my uh, factories that I need, that, that I want for this. And there's going to be quite a few of them in this area right in here. We'll build them right in here and then that way we can ship them down into town. And what we're going to do there, or I could build the factories over in here there's the toy store let me turn on the map things one of the things i like to do is turn on the shop names it makes it easier to find things uh, i like my resource names i like my shop names to be shown um it, it, you know in building bubble names and stuff i will do at certain times but that's where we come in there all right so the first thing is place your headquarters the second thing is to kind of look at your map and plan where you're going to place things uh, kind of where you're going to build. So I know I'm going to build some, you know, some of my forestry units out in here. Um, now, and then you got to figure out what you're going to do as far as getting started. So the next thing is your free techs. You're going to get three free technologies. Um, and so the things that you're going to get here and the things that you can actually do. So since we're actually looking to do the toys, I'm going to come here. And one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to take the wooden train. That's one of the things. I've already got wood. So I'm going to get the wooden train because the wooden train was worth more money than this was. So that was one of the things. I'm going to grab the wooden train from my field logistics or my logistics and administration. I'm going to do the air purifier because I'm going to need that for to, to keep the air clean with the filters. And I'm going to do the road. So those are the three free technologies that I'm going to take. Uh, for this particular start um, and that tends to be if i have a toy store that tends to be my free things that i do if i have uh, a farming like if i have a grocery store i tend to do differently a lot of times if i'm doing a grocery store i don't do the logistics administration here first but a lot of times if you are doing a grocery store there might be multiple of these things that you want to do now the second part of this is is I'm not going to I'm not I'm going to start out with just one thing for making those those items but what I wanted to do is go back into the farmers market for a second and and the hardware store because there are some other things I can do here that actually make really good money. So one of the things is sugar. Sugar makes really good money. Cotton makes really good money, but cotton I'm going to use later on. So I want to do cotton as my alternative thing and I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my wood up in here i'm going to do my cotton down in here um, and even though that coal is done in there this, this is still going to be cotton in here and i'll have to do something about purifying the air uh, it, with where i'm going to put if i want to put that coal in so and let's just see i am very curious about the hardware store coal actually coal sells pretty well considering and the only thing i have to do is put a building down on it that is um, that that is actually very tempting to do that as well. Could come over here, put some coal down, and run that in there, um, and that'd just be free money, basically. Okay, and I probably will do that. But let's get started on our toy store. First thing to do is the toy store. Oh, wait! Before I go, I was going to do the other thing, tech tree. Um, Part of what I wanted to do was we wanted to do cotton uh, produce. Oh, it's going to be under textile cotton. So that's going to be one of the things that I did. That'll be my first research that I'm going to do here. Uh, and I'm going to do that right out of the gate. Uh, and then we're going to build a we're going to build a toy store. So here's how we're going to do that. First things first is we come in here. And I am going to put in my logistics. So what I'm going to do is put in my, I'm going to use this area right over in here for my factory. So I'm going to put my warehouse right, let's see. We'll come off a couple things right there. 
put that right there. And then we'll build some roads in here. Like that. We'll build the There we go. All right. So now I've got my warehouse sitting in here. You know, just just you know, sitting out here. Now, what I'm going to do now is right in this area, I'm going to put in my harvesters. So and, and this is gatherers, lumber yard, and you can see where the lumber yard goes. So what I'm going to do is put one of them there and then I'll zoom in to where I can see what I'm doing here and you can see the area that it's going to harvest from we'll put one over here one here and then what I'm going to do is rotate this around put this on the back side here like that Okay, so with that now, I need to build some roads. So this will come right across here. And that'll come right down through there. So that's my first lumber mill. And, and lumber can actually be sold directly in. So what I'm going to do though, is I'm gonna bring this through here. Oh, let's not put that in yet. Um, so you can see I started with seven and a half million. I've already used half a million up. I put down a warehouse, the lumber yard. Now from the lumber yard, I really am not interested in selling the lumber yard by itself. You know, that, that's not what I want. I want the lumber to go to here. And for now, what we're going to do is bring that right down through there. <laughs> Whoops. All right, there we go. So we've got our lumber. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come right over in here and build the factory section that I need. And so what I want to do is just extend this road. Now, in order for the, the factory, I've got stuff that's going to come out and go to the factory and then things that are going to come back. So I'm going to come out with a road right there. And then I'm going to do a toy factory. And we're going to put one right there. That'll be my first toy factory. That's going to be building wooden trains. And the thing about it is, is this builds wooden trains once every 20 days. So I will have a wooden train every 20 days. So, and it needs two wood every 20 days. Now this right here is doing, bringing in six wood every, I've got three harvesters. So this will be six per month. I believe if that's correct three harvesters harvesting oh no harvesting time is 10 days now the simplified math I'm gonna to have to figure out what my math is here so let's just do the one toy factory at the moment uh, so what we'll do and I'm pretty sure I can do two toy factories and then what I'm also going to need because it's going to be an issue here. Coming right over here somewhere. Let's see. Pollution. Here's my air purifier. And I'm going to put down a some sort of air purifier so that it'll be in the area. And what I want it to do is I want it to cover this area here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to back it up. That iron ore over there is also going to be if I put in some iron at some point in time. I'm going to put it right there. Okay. Okay. 
and it'll have an area of effect but it'll, it'll cover this entire area that I'm doing so what we will do then is I'm going to bring this now out here like that and connect that in now with the air purifier there like that the other thing I'm going to need is I need a gatherer and that's going to require a water well and so and this is part of why it is hard to make money early in the game like this all right and we will put the water in here literally gonna make it I'm gonna butt it up against that tr building of course I didn't get it lined up properly that's fine put that in there like that and then what we want to do is add a harvester we're gonna put it right there in that corner like that okay so that's got a harvester and then what happens is that now we we set our destination now I don't want that going to the warehouse the only reason for that to exist is to go right there and power up my air purifier so that's what we have we have running now at this point in time we are going to get started so we, we're gonna kick it off we've we've spent a million and a half and we're we're getting started here now we can watch what the other the AI is going to do down here we'll be able to see when he builds things what he does but right now we're just trying to get our income coming in here so right now because of the harvest radius of this you can see that everything is in here this is going to be bringing in my wood it's going to be distributing it and doing all of the different things there now there is an issue here that i will see i have an automatic distributor that's actually going to outgoing products is that this thing is going to send wood to the hardware store I don't want it doing that automatically. The reason for that is it would send all my wood over there and I wouldn't be doing anything. So what I'll do is instead I'll set up a destination route and the way I'm gonna do this is I'll come here. First thing I'm gonna do is take my trains and we'll send them to the toy store. And we wanna meet demand and we wanna use a full truck to reduce cost on what we're doing. Now the second thing we've got is we have wood that's gonna come in here. We will have leftover wood and we want wood to go to the hardware store but what we want to do is we want to keep a minimum of five wood we want to meet demand and we want to wait until it's full to send it to the hardware store so so those things right here meet demand wait until full we're only going to send it out so it, we won't send any wood until we have at least five here the reason for doing it that way is the toy factory here is that we've got our toy factory producing trains and we don't want to run out of wood i want to make sure there's always wood to feed the toy train in there and what's going in now this thing's producing every 20 days it's doing two every 20 days and this is producing nine units per month so we're getting nine units a month coming in here so we definitely can produce more trains and then let's look at our toy store here how many trains can will he buy he'll buy 14 trains so we can build quite a few trains so what we can do is hit the x key do the eyedropper command and we'll bring over here and i'm going to bring in another factory a toy factory here so that's just another toy factory it is set up exactly like this toy factory and i don't need more wood i've already got plenty of wood coming in and this will just increase my profit and we can see that i'm making a little bit of money down here and we can see here that you know oh, my production overview if we come here this is one of the production things that i'm doing i can come in here to raw resources and i like to look at last month because this month is a partial month last month is a full month i kind of like to look at this 10k for water 20k for wood but the tier one resource which is the wooden train we made a 2k profit on that not making a lot of profit on toy trains, but we did make a little bit, and that, that'll standardize over time as we do other things. We can see that we're making, we're losing money there. We did some research, so what we've done now is we've done that. Now we can, there's an R&D alert. We researched the cotton field, so we can do a cotton field. All right, now we're going to pause the game here for a second because this is world limited over here. And we can look at world limited and we can see that I've got two gatherers, two factories, one logistics, one cleaner. He's already put down two gatherers 
and four farms. So what he's done, if you look at it here, it's an interesting what he did. He's got a warehouse and he's got farms and he's got chocolate fields, sugar fields. He's got chocolate and sugar. So he's definitely, you know, put down some of his items. So what we're going to do is kind of mirror a little bit about what he's doing. We said we were going to do some other components here. We've got our toy trains coming in and, and, and they are, you know, they're profitable. They're, they're I'm making good profit on the trains. I've just got to deliver the trains, but I can also make good money on cotton. So we want to do cotton here and get that started. And I'm going to kind of take a page out of his book and do the same thing he did. So we do that. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to plop down. He, he went out a little ways. So what I'm going to do is kind of do the same kind of a thing. Right there, there's a warehouse out here. And then what I'm going to do is come here to a plantation. And, and the thing that we can do here is we can do a couple of plantations um, of cotton. So if I'm looking at the farmer's market, oh, I'm sorry, the hardware store for cotton, I can actually do, it's fully demanded, but he'll take 14 of those. So I can do a, I can do two farms of three. And, I'll, and there'll be plenty left over. So we can come in here, we can put a farm there. We can only put three fields right now. So we'll put that right there. Then I'm going to do a, another farm. Well, actually, I'll just do the X key for the eyedropper and grab that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put another farm literally right here beside it, just a mirror image on the other side. Hmm, no, I don't want to do that. I just messed up. I'm going to live with it. I wish I had moved it over one so that I could have got my road down between them. But we'll we'll make this work. So there's my two copper, you know, uh, farms. So what I'm going to do here now is bring this around here, this around here. There we go. And then we'll bring the road out to here. So with what I'm doing there, that that just that gets my my road set. Um, I've got my two copper farm, two cotton farms, I should say. Now, in order to feed that, what I need is I'm going to need one well, and I'll need to maximize out the well and what I'm doing on this. So we'll turn the well around to where I don't I have to build another road section. We'll put that. right here and then we're going to put in three of those so we're down to 3.48 so we're, we're, we're kind of getting low on the cash and what we're doing there so he's gaining stocks his stocks is worth a little bit more than mine that's just one of the things you had to kind of have to watch on that so the water well is going to go into here into the plantations um, it goes to the warehouse by default. Now, there's no reason to go to the warehouse. I'm going to just have it go to the plantation. Plantation 1, Plantation 2. And I'll tell it to send a maximum of three to the plantations. i got three items there, three fields. So three water. We'll keep it going. It has to have water in there. These things will send it to the warehouse. Then what we'll do with the warehouse is we will take the farm produce and the cotton. And we are going to send this to the hardware store. And we're going to maximize our potential so that's what we're going to do and we're going to restart time here now and let this go and that'll get cotton going as well so we've spent the money and we've got a toy trains and we've got cotton it'll start distributing the water very soon there went water it'll start building things you can hit alt and actually bring up the little chat bubbles and or and pop them up the chat bubbles can be very helpful uh so you know if i turn on the chat bubbles again by hitting the alt command there we go it fills in it tells me i can see if i'm missing items that i need you know especially in the early point where you're getting the early part of the game is going in there that's actually really good to know so the plantations are every 30 days 
and it's producing two. So I'm producing 12, that's gonna produce 12 cotton once it's fully up and running, and then all the cotton will be shipped out and, and going in. And I'll be able to see this here. I've got my wooden train, I've got my farm produce, not making anything, but losing money on it right yet, but I'll get there. And then my train, see now I'm making 75K a month on the trains, uh, plus the raw resources, the wood. I'm not making any money on the wood. I am selling some of it, I'm just not, you don't get much for it. So it, you really don't, it, selling wood is not useful to you. You really wanna use all your wood up. And so since I've got nine per month coming here, this is actually taking uh, hmm, 20 days, two every 20 days. Oh, so that's two, two thirds, so 66. So that's gonna be, it's not quite one and a half, 1 1.3, I guess, um, 1.33. 60, so it would take 60 days and in 60 days, it would use up six wood, and that would be two months. Yep, so that's three wood per month. Well, what wood and a half, so I'm wrong. My math was incorrect. So one and a half wood. So one and a half wood per toy store, and this is producing nine. I can have a lot of toy factories. So while I've got this going in here, you know, I've got different things in here. We can see what he's doing here. Uh, and we can see he's building more things. Of course, he's built another warehouse way out here. I have no idea why he built the warehouse out there. That's a, it's an interesting aspect. Nothing's going on there. So sometimes they do things that don't, are, are kind of weird. But they've built some more farms. They're really focusing on sugar, chocolate. Now they've done cotton and apples. So he's researched some more things. Now we're going to do the same thing. Um, with the next item that we can do on the tech tree, although we need to get some money coming in So we, we have to be careful on what we're doing, but when we actually come to produce We have several different things here that we can do. There was olives on the produce that we could do as well as um, Let's see which one is actually worth the most we can sell a lot of olives We can sell a lot of orange juice. So let's do the oranges as our next thing. So that'll be the orchard and we want to come here to drinks and we want to come to the orange field that's going to cost us 200k we'll get that going once that comes in we're going to put another set of farms over here on the other side kind of the same kind of a thing this should be producing six yep six and six so i've got 12 cotton per month awesome We can see that his stock is gaining much faster than mine is. This will be the, the interesting aspect of this. But I am making money, so it's just a matter of being patient. And I need to build up some cash reserves. I may have to take some loans out in order to buy, if I have to compete for a territory, I may have to take a loan out. Depending on what territory it is he's grabbing, we'll see what we can do. I'm gonna let the, let this build up a little bit. We are going to build another toy store. Because they are worth a whole lot of money. All right, that's three train toy trains. And that should start getting close to fulfilling. No, that's not even close. I can do lots of them. Okay, and now we've got trains. We get coal over here, so what we're going to do is come up here and do oranges up here. And I'm going to spend it down. I, I realize I've, I've got to get some other production going, so we're going to do orange production. And we're going to come in here. We'll do this right here. And we'll do the orange. And I'm gonna do the same thing I did on the other. I'm gonna put them side by side. All 
All right, we'll put that in there like that. And then what we'll do is we need the water well. And I am going to bring the gatherer and the water well over here, just like we did on the other one here. We will need to take this. Then put that in there like that. And then this right here, turn it off of auto and send it to my orchards. Okay, and I told it it could do up to three. So that's the same thing. I'm going to do the same thing for the three th items. Okay. As soon as the water gets delivered, we should see things start going in here now and building out. You know, we've got four gatherers. He's got seven gatherers. Four farms, three factories. He has no factories. He has two logistics, and we have two logistics as well. Okay, and then this, we're going to take oranges. And we're going to send them to our farmer's market. And we want to do that right there. All right. With that in place now, now we have to wait and kind of see what happens. Now, we are getting a good bit of traffic in here. Let's uh, put a road there. And let's upgrade this road here. Okay, all of that's upgraded to urban roads. I want to make sure that that goes in there. Okay, and with that now, we're, we're in good shape. We can continue building out, researching things. Now, we, we've got 100 k a month coming in, so we're doing good there. We're going to kind of watch him. He's got 11 farms. Oh, he's still gaining on me. So he's researching main tech tree is liquor. Um... Let's actually go back over here and look at what he's doing. He is just slamming in the farms, isn't he? He's putting everything in here. Got one, all of these little water wells. He's putting a water well. He's maxing out the water wells. Yeah. That's uh, that's fascinating. That's a chicken field. Well. He, Chicken fields aren't going to make much money. He's done wheat, so he's just researching all kind of stuff. He's he's putting all of his stuff into, and he's going after liquor, researching things in liquor, um, which kind of some of the different things there. I don't know what he's doing, but I am going to say, now the one thing I wish I could see is I wish I could actually see how much cash he has on hand. So I get two point million eight one eight million. I can buy shares of his company. Basically, you can buy a share of his company for ten percent of what his company is worth. Um, what I can't see right now: top product and sales. He's selling twelve cocoa. He is selling six sugar and six apples. We're selling. We got sixteen. There should only be twelve oranges. Bizarre. All right, 12 oranges, six trains, six cotton. We can do more trains. And we, we may actually come in here and stick another train station in here and do another train station. We've got from this one lumber mill, we're still producing plenty of wood. So if we look at our map, this is where this comes in useful. You can see I'm producing nine using eight. So at this point in time, I cannot add another toy store. Um, I'm actually using up all of my wood. So we can start the simulation again, let this thing run. Uh, we can see three and four. We've used more than we produced in the current month. That's just the way it's grab grabbing the things. My farm produce, I'm selling everything that I'm making. So that's good. And I'm, I, I should be mostly filling the demand. Um, so and we've now next we got sugar so that'll be the next thing we do but we need a little bit of money uh oh there's a food shortage that's not a good thing 
So what we have to do is deliver 25 food or the population is going to go down by 25% or 15%. I mean, this is one of the uh, events that happens and this is going to affect us within the different things that we do. So what we need to do is come here where the only food item that we have right now is the oranges. And what we have to do is we have to fulfill the contract. Uh, we can tell that to do all of the items um, and if what we'll do here is on the farmer's market, we'll put this to be a minimum of one. Uh, and it, it won't send anything to the farmer's market until, you know, it, it's satisfied the demand. So we'll, we'll put a minimum of two in there on that, I guess. I think the trucks will haul two at the moment. Let's see if I've got a truck that I can click on. Yep, there's a truck carrying two toy trains. So, yep, trucks are carrying two. That is correct. So we'll make this progress progress forward. So this is just kind of the starting point, just to give you an idea. This is a new game uh, here. Now I'm going to cut over, and we'll continue playing this game. This is the kind of the uh, the approach that I'll take, and uh, just continue building things that have synergy with each other as much as I can. Now I'm going to save this before I leave out of here. So this is Pine Meadows. Uh, no, I actually want to do Pine. That's where I've started it. Okay. And now I'm going to load up this 8-bit systems. Load game, 8-bit systems, load, confirm. Just kind of take you through a item here where I have a whole bunch of industry build. Now this one was an interesting game, um, and I've kind of... I've kind of quit playing it at this point in time, but I'll take a thing. You can see I'm at I mean, year 28, so I've played 28 years in the game, just to give you an idea of, of what all I'm doing here. And if we come here, you'll see, the first thing I want to show you is something that happened. In this particular game, the AI never placed their headquarters. So it, it is interesting. They bought, the first they bought, they came down here and bought, where is it? Oh, it's up here. Or I'm turned around a little bit up here. They bought Sebeka, uh, was their first item, and then they come and they bought that on a uh, they bought that on an auction when it came up. Then they bought Yates, but they never placed their headquarters. Their headquarters was never placed. I don't know if that's because their headquarters was in the same place I was, and maybe I put it in the same place. I don't know. I have to admit, I, I didn't really pay a lot of attention to that, but that was in there. But so they never placed the headquarters, so there's no way to buy anything. Now, uh, when you look here, you can see this was my main starting town. It's gotten fairly big at this point in time. If we look at this, you can see I started in this game here uh, with a toy store store as well. That was what I, I got almost a million population town prosperity bloated <laughs> you know different things i've got a showroom for building cars you know for, you know and doing the things there and i've got things scattered out in other towns but you can see here is kind of going back to what i started with i had the toy trains i had the toy you know i'm doing chairs i'm doing teddy uh, teddy bears i'm doing wooden trains all of those are fully supplied i also had stuffing which is really nice because that's the other part of the teddy bear so that that was this was a little bit better for my toy store and that this 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 and this and then i had cotton over here that I could then do the stuffing with um, and so and then the wood you know I also had wood here and and, and then you know obviously it doesn't do well but it, it makes this and this the cotton then makes this and this so I had two really good chains to start with um, the current game that I've got is not quite as good but then there's other things that come in here um, and if we look at my production map just for a second of you know my raw resources that are coming in not making much money on raw resources and if I you know spending a lot of money on water but then when you look at the uh, tier one items it, this tier one is a mix of making money and losing money uh, that's an interesting aspect about some of the different things uh, within how I do this and, and what is coming in. The apple smoothies, I'm losing money on those. That, that is fascinating that I'm losing money on a tier one item um, that I'm not using in another item. Dye, you know, I use, I'm use. i using all the dye that I produce. I'm not selling it, so that's why I'm, that's down. Fibers, I'm also using a lot of them, selling a lot, you know, selling some, but using a lot, uh, which cuts that down. But then the tier two with the teddy bears, making good money on the teddy bears, um, making pretty good money on some, oh, that's this month. Let's look at last month, sorry. Start over on this. Raw resources, 
you know, obviously not making anything on these items. Tier one, losing money last month on a whole bunch of the items. Uh, the, these are used in other items. They, they're used in other components. Don't know why I'm losing money on the smoothies because I'm not using them on anything. So that's kind of an interesting thing. I am making money when you look at it in a 12 months. So maybe just the one month is an aberration. Tier two, cans, I'm uh, making light fabric, teddy bears. And then here on tier three, you know, I've got some other things. So th there's interesting, these numbers are definitely down from what I expect normally, but you can see how many things I'm producing. So the fact that it hasn't run, let me just let it run here for a second. Let it get a couple of months in of what I'm doing. Um, now this is complaining that wood, that I don't have any wood. It seems like after saving it, it, it actually it had to get everything situated. So I'm just letting that run for a second while we look at some of the other towns. I had bought this little town here, and it had a farmer's market in it, so I put some farms down here. Um, oil and gas over here, plus some little... Uh, this section over here is all about building summer clothes and napkins, which are some of the items here. You guys see this town has skyscrapers in it as it's growing. A little bit of farms to do that. Came over here, ran a railroad down here. Uh, I've got then I bought this little town down here on the edge. You know, got some iron and coal and things I'm making here. And then I've got a train network where I've got my trains and I'm shipping things out via train over here to Glenvar and also over here to Commodore. And then making, you know, using some of this stuff in here, a lot of production in here, including canned mutton down here. Um, and the trains and all that. So now that we've let it run for a little bit, if we come in here, yeah, that looks a lot better. You know, uh, you can see here that the products for the farm produce, making money on all of these things. Uh, the sugar, um, I'm using up all of the sugar, so I'm not making any money on that. Uh, livestock, I don't seem to ever make money on livestock, but I'm consuming these two items and other things. And then this comes in here, look, I mean, I'm making a lot of money on the mutton, making a lot of money on the napkins and summer clothes. You know, you can see here I'm making money on the light fabric and the teddy bears, you know, nice things in there. So it's just overall, it's actually doing, you know, this is doing pretty well. You can see I'm making three and a half million a month, nearly three and a half million a month in profit. But this was a fun game. It was kind of nice. I had the AI here who was competing for regions, but he was kind of, since he never placed the headquarters, it never did anything. So just, this is an introduction to the game. I'm having a lot of fun with it and uh, just thought I'd throw up a video about it. That is all for today's video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to hit the like button and leave a comment to let me know what you think. Please subscribe to the channel to be notified when new content is available and check out the link shown here for more gameplay. Take care.